What's up with the gang? It's your boy Josh. Back with another video, man. Today we got Mr. Beast one dollar versus two hundred fifty thousand vacation. He be doing stuff like that. So like a one dollar vacation, then a, so he do like different type of videos. That's so, why he like one of the most. Well, he is. He has the most subscribers on YouTube. He, uh, I guess that's different. So he he's do he does be well. Okay. He just do a whole bunch of. That's yeah. this that's different though. I want so yeah. he's saying that he took a vacation for a dollar. Yeah. And then right here, uh Mr. Beast one dollar versus a million dollar yacht. So we're gonna get straight to it. If you're new, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, follow the Instagram, give me the twenty K on Instagram. Two hundred K on pair. <laughs> Let's get straight to it, gang. In this video, we're going on a two hundred and fifty thousand dollar vacation. This is beautiful. How is this for real? And a $100,000 presidential vacation. Right this way, Seth. A $50,000 vacation where we have the Eiffel Tower completely to ourselves. I'm holding on for dear life. All the way down to this $1 vacation. Right over here, boys. This shack is our vacation. You can see inside of it. There's no walls, Jimmy. <laughs> well, I mean, there's walls. That's this is still, gross. That's, that's and in a, case you don't believe me, it's... Wow. Huh? That's still a nice place for a dollar, though. I was going to say that, too. Dollar. Look at that. Oh, it's 93 cents. You're a liar. I rounded up to a dollar. For one dollar, we get this bed, which is honestly just a mattress in the A broken cabinet, a light that sort of works. Oh, look a dollar you can. And lastly, random noises coming from your ceiling. I was hearing noise in the room, and there's a raccoon on our roof. I feel like most people would be mad if their hotel room had a raccoon, but for some reason, we're happy. When's checkout time? Tomorrow. Uh, Keep in mind that later in this video, we're going on a hundred thousand dollar vacation, a two hundred fifty thousand dollar vacation. Can we just jump cut to that already? No, because we gotta suffer so they can compare our suffering to our happiness. They do like. I hey, get that um <laughs> that Chris dude. I seen that. Oh, good. When we suffer, are we all supposed to fit on the single bed? If we wanted four beds, that'd be four dollars. First, let's get all the sandwich. <laughs> The raccoon just ran in here. I'm gonna have oh, to hold, hold, hold on. That right there, that was like the Martin vacation. Remember when Martin and him went on vacation and that thing ran out? Uh huh. But I was gonna say, oh, ain't shit. um, raccoons don't be out during the day. Who told you that? They don't. They are. Well, there is a. Ain't raccoons a, supposed to be like um nocturnal? Yeah. The That's how you know that raccoon is tamed. So they put their raccoon in there. Josh, stop. What? Okay, they may have put their raccoon in there, but yeah. that, but but that does not mean the that... raccoon acting all normal and stuff. No. How does if you raccoon... see a wild raccoon, you do not act like that. Okay, what does a normal raccoon act like? Wait, normal? You like see... a tamed raccoon? Yeah, a tamed or a normal raccoon because that's what you just said. Like that, like calm. Look, he was so, okay. Wait, wait, wait. So what does a wild raccoon do? Want to be away from humans, and like, yeah, want to be away from humans. So how do you see, they how come do you out at night. <laughs> yes, yeah, I'm right. I'm right, bro. I just wonder. It's like, how does that? I'm just saying. Like, I noticed that. Like, raccoons don't be out during the day. You just noticed that? Yes. Yeah. And then the raccoon acting all calm, but. Oh, what a girl. Oh, that's vacation that's 10,000 times more expensive. Welcome to the $10,000 a night vacation. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Yo, this is sick. Wait, what the heck is this? <laughs> this hotel room has jellyfish. Okay, that's so unnecessary. Oh, there's a pool outside. It's a private pool. Does this now look like a scene from a movie? Your hotel room walks out to the beach. Wow. Is this our own private beach? Oh my gosh. This is incredible. Drake, since when is water this blue? I don't know. This all-inclusive vacation also has a giant spa. Oh, yeah! A park nice filled with flamingos. Oh, they're fighting. Oh. <laughs> flamingos. And unlimited room service. Okay, what's the unit? All of it. <laughs> the only negative of this place is it doesn't have a raccoon. Hey, little guy. <laughs> but I don't blame them for that. When you spend $10,000 on this not resort, sure, bro. we each get our own floor of the building. It looks exactly like Jimmy's, except for I got the top floor. Oh, I have a hammock. I think I can make it in the hammock without getting wet. <laughs> I did it. How would y'all act in Yo, look at your view. Chris! Hey! Mm. Ah, I caught it! Just like that. Dude, what? Hey! Just like that. All right, let me lay out some rolls. Roll number one. Yeah. No more throwing pillows in my pool. 
Uh, rule number two. Sorry, Tree. And now what the hotel is known for. This insane infinity pool that extends wow. over our own personal no, room. Why does the water that. just not overflow? I have so many questions. I feel like a water father water. that took his kids on vacation and is just watching them hang out in the pool. Ah, I've seen a water. Ah, the ten thousand dollar vacation has been insane, but not as insane as our next there's, vacation there's all the way across the land. And now the fifty thousand dollar vacation in Paris. Like, Our fifty thousand dollar vacation yes, starts with a completely we, 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 we private luxury ferry ride. What is that? What's it's the engine? Now. Bro, what is this? Eighteen oh five. Drink, drink, drink. Zoom in on that guy. Bro, He's filming us. Hey. Back. Do you have a YouTube channel? <laughs> I I don't think he speaks English. This vacation comes complete with fantastic food, a tour of the entire city, yeah, 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 All right. and a luxury hotel room with an amazing view. Who's kind of romantic, huh? Yeah. You and Chandler should kiss. And lastly, we have a very expensive surprise. So you guys are probably wondering. It's a fifty thousand dollar vacation, and we clearly haven't spent fifty grand yet. Yeah. yeah. Where Where is it? It's behind you. A Eiffel Tower. Yes. We have the entire Eiffel Tower completely to ourselves. Wait, actually? Yeah. What portion of the 50 grand was the tower? Almost all of it. <laughs> <laughs> we are at the Eiffel Tower. This feels like we're sneaking in. No, I'm not joking. It's ours. No one else wow. is here. We can just go straight through the line. This like, he can, Mr. Beach can do stuff like that. Like, he ran out a whole mall. <laughs> illegal. Most of the time, this deal. place is packed with people, and because we have the whole thing no, that's completely what he, yeah, he ran out a whole mall and played hide and seek. Oh. And then if you didn't get caught, you won ten thousand dollars. Yourself? Get us in the Mr. Oh. Beast video. Have you seen the Squid Game? That's they were killing people in there. Yeah, game. have you seen it on Netflix? He did a real life Squid Game. What did it kill him? Nah, they wouldn't kill him, no. We're gonna try to get to the top of the tower. Do you know how dope that would be? What? To play hide and seek in the mall. He did that. That would be. Ooh, I would love that. That, man. I'm talking to Mr. Beast video. Boys, no, no, not no, playing no, around. No, no. Let's head up. On the way up, we stopped at the first floor, over 187 feet in the air, where we had a world class restaurant all to ourselves. I love how, even though we had the entire Eiffel Tower, they still put us in a corner of the restaurant. <laughs> That's the elevator coming from the top of the Eiffel Tower. That looks terrifying. Open Sesame. Thank you. I can see my house from up here. I can see my hotel from up here. Look how high up we are. Oh, my ears are popping. What are we working with here? Boy, oh no. my god. You can see the whole city from oh, here. Dude, this is crazy. Tree. Look how much higher we have to go. Bro, this is never gonna end. I'm not gonna lie, I thought we were already at the top. <laughs> We're going up. Boy, no. Now we're heading to the top. At one point, this was the tallest building in the world. Should I jump right now? No, do not move. Come on, boys. Follow me. From here on out, there's no more elevators, just stairs. Oh, it's windy up here. We are high up there. Oh, oh my god. Oh, my god. Wow. Oh, dude, don't drop the camera. We are standing over 900 feet in the air. The highest point civilians are allowed on the tower. But since it's ours for the night, I had one last surprise. What do you think's behind this door? Stairs. I should, did I... How'd you know? We can see the stairs. Well, yes, there are more <laughs> stairs, but this takes us to the very top where no one's allowed to go. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Wow. Bro, oh my god. Oh, are we up I don't know. Now, what would you do if oh, you were oh, up oh, there? That is... Huh? What would you do if you were up there? I wouldn't go up there. My fear is heights. I don't get on roller coasters, none of that. I would not go up there. I think you would, you know, and you'd probably be up there spitting on people. Harry, the ledge just comes up to my waist up here. I'm holding on for dear life. I completely understand why tourists are not allowed up here. We have a cameraman on the other side of the city with a lens zoomed in on us. He's over a mile away. If this lens is good enough, you should be able to see us waving. For a $50,000 vacation, you gotta admit this is cool. This is amazing. This is a once in a lifetime. Are you ready for the I best would. moment I yet? I don't know why a YouTuber has this much power, but... Lights! Oh, wow. there we go! This next command is going to work, but turn every light off. Oh. <laughs> it's pitch black. <laughs> the Eiffel Tower went dark. What are these millions of French people thinking right now? They should get me off this tower. I don't know why they gave me this much control. 
Next, we head wow. to Switzerland for the $100,000 oh, vacation. Wait, they, they, but they this is no ordinary vacation. This hotel has two inch thick bulletproof windows, a panic button that will lock down the entire building, and it's riddled with security. Because this is a hotel where world leaders and presidents take their vacation. And also, the Sidemen were in town, so I decided to invite them as well. Oh my god! It smells like food in here. We've got the whole ocean in there. What? This is nuts. This is the most expensive penthouse in all of Europe. It covers the whole eighth floor and has dozens of rooms, tons of staff waiting on you all day and night, and absolutely crazy food everywhere. Want a minute? Yeah, get out of that. Oh, yeah. How do these guys compare to your normal guests? Yeah. <laughs> so you'd say they're pretty dumb compared to them. Yeah. Yeah. And like I said before, some of the most powerful world leaders choose this place for their vacation. <laughs> Even Bill Clinton stayed here, and he wasn't assassinated. It's pretty safe. In terms of security here, you have the bulletproof windows. Even this? This is bulletproof? Oh, my God. It feels thick. Oh, oh, God, really yeah. solid. I hope. I'm yeah. a president. Yeah, also yeah. some yeah. snipers yeah. that we can put on the rooftop. You have your own sniper? <laughs> Are you able to negotiate on behalf of the Sidemen? I can draw my back. Yes, uh, this will help me in my negotiation. I'd like to buy 10%. How much, boys? No, you got to you say. Yeah. 10% of 200 what? 200 million, Jimmy. I think you said the Sidemen. That's another YouTuber or YouTube channel group. 100 million. I think that's what he said. I don't know what he said. All right, to the panic button. <laughs> Oh I'm not gonna lie, I've been waiting to press this button since we got here. We all agree this is a good idea. Nah, I like the roll. Carl, you're Bill Clinton and you feel threatened. You know press the panic button. He's made right, it. He pressed it. Oh, wait, I see a door closed. Wait, are we locked in? Is it locked? You guys in there? Is that Nolan? Yeah. And the door's like shut. I walked off for one second. Which button uh, opens it? You don't get to panic and then open it. They <laughs> <laughs> should push the button now, the quiz will come, and there's a big fine. Don't press it again. <laughs> <laughs> I've been thinking, how would a president get somewhere like McDonald's? Let's see how presidents travel. Come on in. It turns out when you're the president, you have to go everywhere with your bodyguards, so that means when you drive... Oh, we got like a Oh, we got an entourage. Okay. How do we know which car to get into? On the third, on the fourth? Ideally the third or fourth, is it? Which car is the most dangerous? The first one. Nolan, you should ride in the first one. I can do that. Okay. <laughs> Who wants to ride with me? Harry, come on in. Harry and Chandler. I'm sure the president sit in the middle. Typically you guys would be my bodyguards, but, you know, you'll suffice. Just squeeze in, mate. Squeeze in. What president is going to McDonald's? That's your window. Hey, how's it going? Now we're going to get a shot. Now we're going to get a shot. I can't believe we can do this. This is nuts. Turns out when you travel in a it's presidential motorcade, Right. A lot yeah. of people start to yeah. notice you. How's it going? This <laughs> punk is not. I thought we just drawing the attention of everyone. People are filming like we're the president. This is weird. Which made McDonald's a little awkward. <laughs> 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 Don't mind our security. Jimmy, does this beat out the Eiffel Tower for you? Depends how good these tickets are. Yeah. Obviously, all the vacations so far have been amazing, but they pale McDonald's. in comparison to this next one. Our final vacation is once again all the way across wow. the planet. And now we're in Japan for the $250,000 vacation. And we're meeting up with a special guest here, so you're gonna want to watch to the end. To start off our vacation, we dropped off our bags at the most expensive hotel in all of Japan. This is gigantic. I would echo in a hotel room. And afterwards, we felt like getting to know the city of Tokyo. Now we're gonna drive Mario Karts on the street. <laughs> we rented private Mario Karts where we literally get to drive on the streets of Japan. That is wow. This is not meant to be on the street. There's you, you real see, cars right, right on the side of the road. Look how many people are crossing the street here. This is the busiest crossroad in the world, and we're driving right through it. <laughs> we're on go karts in Tokyo. Bro, I love Japan. This place is crazy. Man, when nice. we arrived at our next destination, we met with Master Swordman Yoshioki Somita. He's been training with the katana for the last 26 years, and he actually agreed to give us a rare lesson in the art of the samurai. We each got our own katanas, and the lessons began with swinging techniques. It was not as easy as we thought. So... No! No, they're gonna zoom in on it. Then it was my turn. Boys, you think I'm gonna be able to do this? Yes. Yeah, you got it. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Let's see how the boys do. You think I'm gonna cut on the Who am I? 
Yeah, see, that's a message I'll pull. And then, our samurai teacher gifted us this insane katana. I don't deserve this, but thank you. And because this is a quarter million dollar vacation, we rented out the most premium sushi chef in the world, along with this entire floating restaurant. They got Louis Vuitton coasters. The chef makes all the food right next to our table. And getting to see a master at work was one of the coolest dining experiences ever. Now, would you eat that? Mm. Wow. Oh, oh my god. god. Crazy. Oh. They said we could feed the birds tuna. Here you go, little man. See how it caught him in there? And once we paid the bill, thank you. <laughs> we were off to the craziest place I've ever been. Alright, follow me. I rented this whole place. But before we see it, socks off. This is basically an art museum, but for experience. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my god. That's goosebumps. My eyes wow. are having a hard time processing it. Yeah, you think this is what it looks like when you die? Probably. What is this next row? <gasps> Normally this place is completely full of other people, but we secured the place entirely for ourselves. This might be one of the best things we've ever done. Dude, are these fish? We're in a pool in a no, imagine going in there high. No, I'm <laughs> All right, come on. Museum playing with animated fish. Like, this is the most unique thing you, you can name? ever do on a vacation. Wait, the fish are surrounding yeah, us. Josh. How did they know to surround us? They love us. They're going everywhere now. Now you're all probably hungry, oh. which is why we're at this restaurant that is ran by robots. What? My name is Pepper. Can we have a seat, Pepper? Sure. Let's find a comfortable spot. We reserved the entire place, so the only other people here were the robot waiters. Food robots here. Wait, so the food is delivered on a robot? An oddly fluffy robot. Robot. Pepper's staring really hard at Chandler. Pepper does not like Chandler. Bro, I did Pepper nothing to Everyone, make sure you eat tons of food because tomorrow I rented an entire theme park and PewDiePie's gonna be there. Which is really crazy. Whoa. You see, PewDiePie. He, well, he finna explain it. PewDiePie. He did an entire theme it. park and PewDiePie's gonna be there. PewDiePie's PewDiePie. a YouTuber. PewDie? PewDiePie. Oh, this one, he don't explain it. You eat tons of food, because tomorrow I rented an entire theme park, and PewDiePie's gonna be there. Which is really crazy. You see, PewDiePie and I have a long history. Mr. Beast, I was wondering when you would show up. <laughs> <laughs> we helped him in his subscriber rate. So, PewDiePie, he had the most subscribers on YouTube. Mr. Beast just passed him up. So now PewDiePie's second, I think. Or he might be third or whatever. So people really just do YouTube all day? Yes. Making Mr. V's probably five hundred million dollars. Mr. Beast, I was wondering when you would show up. <laughs> <laughs> we helped him in his subscriber race against T-Series. Grab your phone, go on YouTube, search PewDiePie, and subscribe to him. Eventually, we even caught up to him. Mr. Beast has to YouTube, search PewDiePie, and subscribe to him. Uh, that is retarded. That is crazy. That's crazy. Actually, we even caught up to him. Mr. Beast has taken over me in subscribers. I guess I'm getting a taste of my own medicine. That's all right. He definitely deserves it. And even though we've been friends for a while, we've never actually met in person. And because this is such a long way to meet up, I rented this entire amusement park. This is Fuji Q Highland, the park with the scariest rides in all of Japan. Yeah, it really usually has thousands of people waiting in line. But as per usual, I rented the entire thing just for us. You can ride. Whatever ride you want. I wasn't done, but he left. I'm about to go on this entire roller coaster alone. What you're seeing here is the steepest roller coaster drop in the oh, world. No. Are you scared? Nope. Yes. You like that? Nope. You see how that man? No, oh, oh, that oh, thing oh. curved inwards. Right smack. Oh, 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 and like promised, the father of YouTube, PewDiePie, met us in the park. Nah, that's wild. A little later than planned because I texted him the wrong day. Sorry, Felix. And he wanted to ride the craziest coaster at the park. Why are you scared? I'm so scared of roller coasters. This one doesn't spin at all. I'll ride it if Felix rides it. Let's go! I'm terrified. <laughs> oh, I thought I was I'll do it. So I'll that do it. the other dude is PewDiePie. Yeah, the other dude PewDiePie. Them his, uh, Mr. This is crazy. On this roller coaster, so you guys are going to terrible. Doing what? How long have they been doing YouTube? Years. Years. Take no a shoe. Anything that can fly out. That's how you know it's bad. They don't even trust us with shoes on this ride. Got this. It'll be fine. I know. This was my worst nightmare. I'm scared. I'm scared. I don't want to do this. You're scaring me. Come back. Whoa. 
Whatever you do, don't throw up. I'm terrified. Can we pick a better one? We could have picked a nice, comfortable ride. I actually have no idea what it is. At some point, there is a literal 90 degree drop. <laughs> You're freaking me out. <laughs> what did you sign me up for? You brought me here. But what we didn't know was... Wait, no! This ride goes backwards. Why are we going backwards? <laughs> Oh my gosh, Felix, what did we just do? I'm crying. Best roller coaster ever! Oh my god, tears just running down. Let's give me and Jamie, I'm gonna head out. Yeah. We scream at the first little bump. <laughs> what? Thank you. I don't think I've ever <laughs> had a chewy potato before. <laughs> That's what you get for passing me! <laughs> um, Felix, I'm sorry for passing you. You don't have to throw me a violent song. They're good! Yeah, they are good. That was the $250,000 wow. vacation. This Felix, can you transition us? Perfect. <laughs> that is crazy. That's crazy. That looks fun, though. At the end of the video, if you new, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, follow Instagram. Give me 20 count Instagram, 20 count here. If you ain't wearing no socks, Man. subscribe. All right. As we close out, I just want to, first off, I want to give a shout out to uh, to my partner, one, one of my boys that I actually grew up with. His name is Marquan Hudson. Y'all, Marquan, we grew up in in, in Wisconsin uh, on Villa. I, you know, he's, he's, he's one of my day ones. Uh, and he is now a chef in McFarland, Wisconsin. So, Quan, we talked. He sent me, um, you know, I bought some of his seasoning, and this stuff is, is just good. And I just believe that, you know, whatever platform you have, you want to use it to try to help other folks. So, this is called Yes It Is. <laughs> this is some seasoning. You can, man, you can put this stuff. Oh, Watch out. You can get, okay, I got the small size, but you can put this stuff on just about anything. He, uh, um, it's, it's, man, I, I put it on salmon. I put it on burgers. Uh, you can probably even put it in cereal. This stuff is so daggone good, but it's, it's, you, it's seasoning and rub. You can put it on everything. That's why it's called Yes It Is. Can you put it on this? Yes It Is, or Yes You Can, or whatever. But nevertheless, Marquan Hudson, my boy, he's in McFarland, Wisconsin. Y'all hit him up. Order, order whatever you can from. I guarantee you that you will love this. Order this from him. Uh, I just want to want to promote him, give him a shout out because you know it's just just you know we've been been day ones. Quan, love your boy. Appreciate you. Keep keep doing big things. But you can reach out to him at yes it is food service at gmail dot com or blow him up. Uh, six zero eight is the phone number. Six zero eight five three five four zero one one. Quan, man, I hope that they that they wear you out. With this, yes, it is. Uh, but but keep doing big things, man. I'm so proud of you, bro. Uh, much love to you, man. Y'all be safe, gang. Peace.